We're going to go straight up Deutsch. Um, all right, let's get back in. Welcome into In the Kitchen with Mary. It is 145 here on the East Coast. It is good to see you back in the saddle, so to speak. And we're going to talk about Cook's Essentials. Now, this brand is our own in-house brand of kitchen helpers and elite appliances. But this in particular, hold on, y'all need to hear it. That is a 12-inch across deep cast iron elite skillet. Hey, Mayor, what makes it elite? Well, number one, it's customer top rated. Thank you very much. It also is cast iron. So it is that metal that's going to stand the test of time. But the inside is non-stick. But have you seen cast iron in a rainbow of colors? Oh, well, check this out. Because on QVC.com, we've got five different color choices for you. We've got black. The color right next to that, I do believe, is the bronze. Then we have the light blue, which is super, super pretty. One next to that, we also have the beautiful light gray. And then at the very end, we've got red. Now, cast iron, nonstick, for a featured price of $34.56. It is the only day this month that it's being presented at this price. And we have three easy payments as an option for you of $11.52. Comparable retail values, $52.79. Our price is much less. Now, our head chef for Cook's Essentials, who is a Food Network star, and also I've seen him hosting Big Daddy's House, and a dear friend of mine, Aaron McCargo, thank you for your email. How are you, my friend? I'm happy to have you back. I mean, you had some, some serious girls holding you down. Yes, you I like did. like spice girls going on, but <laughs> you back, and we about to get popping with something ridiculous. This right here, I don't know if you can see what I got going on, but I'm cooking me some plantains. I was feeling real Caribbean. Ooh, you like Caribbean food? I love yeah. Caribbean food. Love. Okay. My favorite so we, restaurant, one of my favorite restaurants in the world is in Puerto Rico, and it's called Bebos. Really? Yes. The best. I got to go one day. We shall discuss, but please don't let me interrupt. I won't, because guess why? Because I got my rum cake going on here. And yes, I went rum cake on you, because you could do a cake in your cast iron. And this is a very, very great way to cook and have fun. Whether you're going to do Caribbean food, German food, soul food, yes. New Orleans food. We talk at 12 inches of good cast iron. And as you can see right here, I'm just going to go buck wild because I already Thank poked you. my holes. Thank I'm going to let this soak Thank right you. into this cake because this right here is what we're talking about. That yes. right there is going to soak in. And we got two days for that to sit. But I guarantee you I'm going to go into it tonight. Because I got my plantains coming out because we forget that you can fry in your cast iron. You can braise in your cast iron. As a kid, Mary, I got to tell you this. My mom would have this old rusty cast iron pan on the stove. And she would cook our eggs, our bacon, our sausage, our toast, our grit, everything in it. But the problem was everything stuck. And I was so angry when I had dishes. So guess what? We going in the dishwasher today, girl. Yes. We going in the dishwasher. You so earned mama, it. I, yes, I did. She's watching. She's going to slap me. Now, wait and a I minute. Think she got the last. Yeah. Two, two things. Is Her name is yeah. Julia, right? Yes, it is. That's my mother's name, too. Stop playing. I'm not kidding. Both our mom's names are Julia. And here's another fun fact. You grew up, you're one of six, right? Yes. Okay, yes, that's am. a big family to cook for. And the fact that you do yes. it all in cast iron for multiple meals of the day means we've got a versatile metal here. But we're seeing Chef Aaron below you. There are uh, comments scrolling across the screen. Lori said, got really? the skillet on Tuesday, made cornbread last night, came out perfect. Can't wait to use the pan on the stovetop. Chef Aaron, question for you because Lori brought it up in the comments. Can I use this, yes. this pan on all stovetops, including induction? All stove top induction and your grill, 500 Ooh. degrees, piping hot. I'm, I'm going to give a one on one on cast iron because a lot of folks don't know this. Thank you. You don't really want to heat your pan up with nothing in it, yeah. and especially when we're talking about an elite Cooks Essentials cast iron pan that is 12 inches. Because you know what? When we're talking this cast iron, we got seven pounds of weight here, and it's going to cook evenly. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about preheating this pan to flaming hot to start cooking in it, whether you're going to blacken something or whether you're going to cook your bacon, whether you're going to bake your cake. And I got to tell you, my cake came out perfect. My it son really said, Dad, you're going to dump that out on TV? You think that that's going to come out? And it flipped out, and I started, hallelujah, we good. But <laughs> it makes you excited 
when you have cast iron that is nonstick. And we're, I'm excited about this pan because look at this. I want to show you this mac and cheese. Okay. Now, normally when you do mac and cheese, do you see the edges? Normally it sticks. Look at this right here. Mary, I'm literally loosening this edge up. Do you, do you see this? I'm loosening this egg, edge up. I can't and I can speak. lift this whole thing out just like I lifted. Let me get under the bottom because I really want you to know that there's no cleaning. There's no work to this. And you can really go in this with a wooden spoon because you want to take care of your cast iron. And you can lift out. I got a rubber spatula because I really want to get in here and show you this hole. Because here, Ray, oh, you see this? That's already clean. You, you can't lick that clean. Mm -mm. You just can't. I you don't it need my to best take shot. this and scrub it. Oh, that looks so if good. If you would give it your best shot. <laughs> That's the mac and cheese. Curry chicken, jerk chicken. You know when you got sugar in a pan, it's going to stick. Yes. It's going to be hard to clean. Mary, I left this chicken in here on purpose. And one of the other great things about having this pan, whoever's collecting cast iron, keep collecting. Make sure you get this. Whoever's not collecting cast iron, start collecting cast iron and get this because of the fact that it goes in the dishwasher. It's got that nice durable weight. You have this handle here so you can hang it and hook it. And look at this. I like to use my wooden spoon. So this isn't, this burn mark, this is my favorite spoon. It didn't come from my cast iron because I like to rest my cast iron, my spoon, just like that. Oh, I love that. I love cooking with this pan. I love knowing the fact that whether I'm going to do something as sticky as a jerk chicken, which I wish you were here to try my jerk chicken. Oh, I think I'd be the best. Let me tell you what, I say it every time I'm with Chef Aaron on air. You just wait until we're not physically distancing anymore. They're going to have to throw me out. Um, you know what? <laughs> I am so there. Let's take a look at the color choices because I think Chef Aaron made such amazing points. Add this to your cookware collection. This is your new everyday pan and cast iron. We've got great colors. So take a look. If you have cookware all in black, you can have it match. We have the black available. But let's say you have a Tuscan kitchen or you have medium browns, chestnut browns. We've got a beautiful bronze for you. We also have a light blue. If you want to add a little pop of spring, we've got that too. If you want to get the light gray, stainless steel appliances, you want to keep it monochromatic in the kitchen, we have that for you too. Then at the end there, we've got red. We have fewer than 200 <clears throat> in that red, and red is always a popular choice. If you saw the mac and cheese and you were like, wait, the mac and cheese looks pretty good, but what about that red <laughs> pan? That's the red that Chef McCargo was showing us. Now, the non-stick itself with the non-stick, traditionally we say use wooden and silicone tools. Does that apply here, or what do you think? I always say use wooden or sil silicone tools because honestly, why would you want to put metal in this pan? Because yeah. you don't need to. Nothing's going to really stick. Nothing, not really. Nothing is going to stick that you would need any type of harder or heavy-duty tongs or spoons to get it out because the non-stick is so superior. And when I'm talking about superior, I'm talking about at the top of the level of nonstick in the Cooks uh, Essentials uh, cookware line, that you will not have this problem that you need any rough abrasive cleaning uh, solutions or, or scrubbing, scouring pads True. or heavy duty metal tongs. You will not need that in these pans. I did some jerk, I love oxtail. So I did some oxtails and rice with a wooden spoon. Yes, I did some cabbage and I had like two big heads of cabbage. It braised perfectly and it fried up perfectly. I wiped out the pan with a towel, just this simple, a towel. And I went back to cook it. So when you're talking about the elite cast iron that we're offering here, we're talking about no hard, easy times in the kitchen, cook it from soup to nuts, because you're gonna get not only the fat colors you were talking about, my daughter's like, Dad, what you gonna bake the cake in? The red, <laughs> the blue, the black. But I don't think there's any more bronze. I said, well, sweetheart, you tell me. You have the beautiful colors that make you such a delicious, fun day of cooking in the kitchen. Oh, I'm Chef excited, Aaron. I, I love this pan too, because I love cooking with cast iron. And my husband has been looking a little too close at my cast iron cookware, because he wants to take a pan <laughs> camping. I might have to get him one of his own this year. Might have to be the year. Chef Aaron, thank you. It is always so good yeah. to see you. And we'll see you coming back in just a little bit. You're going to make us a fresh tumbler yeah. of coffee. Oh, I got some goodies for you, girl. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, Chef Aaron, see you soon. Thank you, my friend. See you soon. Um, I okay. am serious when we're not physically.